In this tutorial we're going to be looking at using a macro to set conditional formatting for a series of cells. I'm continuing on with the employee system um, as, as an example. Uh, basically uh, what we created in early tutorials was this timesheet table so <coughs> excuse me the user completes the form here when they complete the form what they can do is when they press the save button the details are then saved on the timesheet table um, what I want those on this table is any weekly hours so we've got the weekly hours for each employee week one to four is entered here any weekly hours that are less than a target figure should be highlighted in red now at the moment I've set the target figure over here on the right to 10 so 10 hours a week is the target any hours that are less than 10 as you can see I'm clicking on some of them here should be highlighted in red now ideally the best way of doing this was if we could do it on the original timesheet form so if I click back on the form it'd be great that when the hours are entered uh, we had conditional formatting and if they were less than the target they'd be highlighted in red uh, and then when we press the save button and they're copied across here they'd be highlighted in red as well unfortunately it doesn't work that way or you can't do that in Excel um, when you do the copy from the timesheet form so in early tutorials we created a macro that copied this line and pasted it here uh, the formatting does not get copied as well so there's no way of doing that so what we've got to do is uh, we've got to allow the user <coughs> excuse me we've got to set up a macro that allow the user to we'll click a button basically it will do the formatting on this timesheet table uh, an extra problem we've got is that you can't in a macro if you try and record conditional formatting so if I was to highlight all the cells I wanted to conditional formatting and record all these actions in a macro the macro doesn't work when you play it back it doesn't do the conditional formatting I don't know the reasons for it but there is a workaround uh, the workaround is to set up some dummy cells I've set up four cells over on the right and I've just typed in week one two three and four so I know where they are uh, and basically we're going to set the conditional formatting on those and then you can copy the formatting from these cells and then paste it over to the target cells so that's what we're going to do we will record all those actions in a macro uh, first of all before recording the macro let's set the conditional formatting up so I highlight the cells and let's just clear anything that I've done earlier so I want to do conditional formatting and I want to put a new rule and I want to use the less than rule and basically what I'm going to say is any value that's less than the target figure uh, should be highlighted in red the target figure is held in this cell so I'm just clicking on that one and I want to change the default formatting and enter my own mm, alright let's make it bold and italic and red okay so those cells have now got conditional formatting obviously they haven't got any numbers in there so they're not the formatting's not uh, being implemented at the moment but it is there now let's record the macro so I'm going to record a macro to copy the formatting from here over all the cells here so that the highlighting should work to record a macro as we showed in early tutorials have a look at them if you've forgotten how but I'm going to go through this quickly click on the developer tab record macro and I'm just going to give it a name which will be highlight something I can remember it by press OK so Excel is now recording uh, I've got the stop, re stop recording at the top and down the bottom it may look different if you're using 2010 this is 2007 but it's similar process uh, so the first thing I want to do is um, I've selected my cells here which I want to copy so I'm going to do control C to copy it's ready to copy now I want to tell um, Excel where I want to paste this conditional formatting to now I could just highlight the area shown but obviously this spreadsheet and this uh, sorry this work, uh, timetable timesheet table this particular worksheet the data could grow users could keep adding rows to it so what I'm going to do is just highlight one row and if I hold down the shift button and do page down and I'm going to click page down about three times what I've done, done is highlighted several pages of blank cells as you can see 
and they're all going to be formatted, all have the formatting. So any data that's added to they will take the same formatting. I've done copy, I've highlighted my target, now I'm going to right click my mouse and now I'm going to use paste special. And in this case what I will do is just paste the formats. So if I click here and press OK. And you can see that any cell now that is less than the target figure, which was over here on the right, uh, has been highlighted. So it's worked and Excel is clever enough to uh, check and do the conditional thing. And if any data is copied down in these blank areas, if I add later ones to them, they should work as well. Uh, let's stop the recording. So I've now got a macro. So I've stopped the macro, uh, stopped the recording of the macro. Let's just test that it works. So I'm going to add another entry. Let's see. Okay, we haven't got um, employee 1001. So let's try that. Bob Smith. And let's put in some. Uh, values that are going to trigger I press the save go back to the timesheet table and I have a row added there that's fine but you notice that row there is no formatting because I've got to run my macro to format this whole area so let's just have a look I haven't put it on a button yet but if I can go to macros and click on highlight I should be able to run it from here anyway and I run it and lo and behold it's actually done it. So that's using a macro to add conditional formatting to a range of cells.